All right, everyone, so welcome back to Jay Boo's Plants and Bonsai. I'm Jay Boo, as you may know, and in today's video, we're gonna give the spikas a defoliation, a repotting, and a slight pruning. And so what is defoliation, you may ask? So defoliation is pretty much the removal of most, if not all of the leaves from your tree. And the reason we would want to do this is to promote ramification or encourage new growth. And so typically you wanna defoliate ficus early in the summer, just so that they have enough time to grow back for the winter and be healthy enough. So at the end of June, we still have July, August, and September for this tree to grow back. And it's, stays relatively hot throughout those months so it should do just fine. Ficus can usually handle complete defoliation but I'm just gonna leave any of the new growth on just to be safe. And so without further ado I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more of this plant and then I'm gonna repot it and then we'll get into our defoliation. I'm gonna start at the bottom of our plant so taking a look at the trunk you can see we have a pretty decent trunk and it's surrounded by aerial roots which in my opinion looks pretty cool and aerial roots are just a product of a bunch of ficus species. I'm not sure if all produce aerial roots, but I know that this one for sure does. This is a ficus microcarpa. I'm not sure exactly what variety. I think it's a green gem, but you guys can definitely correct me if I'm wrong because I have no idea to be honest, but that's just what I'm assuming. But as we move up the plant, you can see this is our branch structure and I'm seeing that this branch and this branch are getting a little leggy, a little shraggy, and so I'm probably gonna end up cutting these two back. And the main goal is, like I said, defoliation. And so we're gonna be removing all of these old leaves, but I'm gonna keep the brand new growth on just because I don't really see the point in taking those off. But yeah, let's just get straight into it the pot that I'll be putting our ficus in. It's a terracotta pot and I like using terracotta pots because for one this one looks really nice and terracotta pots breathe really well. They don't absorb heat like plastic pots do and so I'm gonna set our ficus in and I'm gonna put a little bit of soil around and I'll be back when I do. I now have the plant set in the pot and the kind of soil that I'm using is a mixture of gardening soil, pumice, and a little bit of tree bark as well as some compost and so it should be a healthy mixture for it and i'm not completely bare rooting the plant because i don't want to stress it out too much and so i left on a good amount of soil and it has a pretty healthy root system and so i'm going to go ahead and fill this in and i'll be back with what we have we now have our ficus potted up i think it came out really good and so now that we have a more presentable plant let's go ahead and move straight into our defoliation guys so i'm going to start on this side of our plant and i'm basically just going to show you guys exactly what i do so you could pull the leaves off but i prefer to cut them off with scissors just because if you end up pulling the leaf off there's a chance you could also rip some of the branch and we really don't want that and so what i do is i cut it right below the leaf kind of in between like the stem and within like a week or so this little stem will fall off so no need to worry about that that will be gone in no time but i'm basically just going to do that all around this plant typically where you cut a leaf so for instance right here a new branch should grow out of there and so that's what we're hoping because we want to get as much ramification as we possibly can. If you have a branch that's getting a little too leggy for your liking, something you can do is pinch the top of the new growth off and that'll prevent it from growing longer, but it'll keep it growing outward and make it a little bit more full. And so I've removed most of the leaves on our first corner of the branch and ficus respond very well to pruning as well as defoliation. They're very hardy and so this isn't really going to stress the plant out too badly and in the long run it's going to become much more full and it'll look way better. And so before I go wild and just remove all of the leaves from this plant, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this branch right here. So typically I would just cut this off because it is growing downwards and this branch is kind of taking its place as well. but. If I cut it back to right here, I'm gonna go ahead and try and force something to grow more this way rather than downwards. And if I don't like it in time, then I'll get rid of it. But we're gonna just go ahead and see how it looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the leaves and I'll be back with our bare plan.
so we are back and as i'm sure you could probably tell the plant is very bare like i said it would be but no need to worry because it is going to fill out much nicer and i did keep some branches kind of near the bottom here and i'm doing this just so that we get some photosynthesis going in and i'm also trying to see if these will kind of act as sacrificial branches and if i don't like them in the future i'll just cut them off but just for now i'm going to keep them on and so the last thing we're going to do now is go ahead and cut these long straggly branches so let's do so it so i'm going to cut our first straggly branch right about here just like that and i'm making it a little bit more proportional and i'm trying to get it to fill out a little bit more in the middle here and so for our next branch i'm going to cut this one down right about here and so there we go we now have what is believed to be our finished product my gamer oh my god what the heck my gamers all right so here is what we're looking at this is the finished product of our plant so far obviously bonsai is really never finished because you're always going to be trimming it pruning it shaping it so here's what we got so far as you can see we have defoliated or removed all the leaves or most of the leaves from the plant and so now the only thing left to do is let it grow we're gonna give it some fertilizer i typically give my plants miracle grow all-purpose fertilizer and they seem to like that pretty well and so there we have it that is going to wrap up our video let me know what you guys thought in the comments about the plant about how i did you guys should know the deal by now and thank you guys all for stopping by i really appreciate all of your support you guys are amazing and i love you all so thank you guys and um we just got to see how this thing grows i'm sure it'll grow nicely but we'll see so yeah guys that's about it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video